are you doing, Yalmari? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's funny. I, I see the poster behind you. That answers one of the first questions I was going to ask you. Clearly, you're a big Rambo fan. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'll jump right in then. Um, I assume First Blood was a pretty big inspiration for this film, right? Definitely. And a huge inspiration for me even to be a filmmaker, probably. You got the poster behind you, so that tracks. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more about how First Blood inspired this film and uh, also some of the other films that you've pulled in here, because I see some spaghetti Western going on, a lot of stuff. So tell me about the inspirations. Well, First Blood is probably the biggest one, and it's somehow it's to see a film about a guy you basically don't know anything about, and you're starting to find out, okay, this guy might be a soldier, okay, he's a soldier, but you don't know how bad and how good is he, like what he does. And, and I love that kind of stories where uh, basically stories that you're fucking with the wrong guy. Uh, so I don't know, I loved it when I saw it and there's a lot of the same kind of vibe in the, the setup of Sisu, like meeting this, one guy which we don't talk about and um, and finally we are starting building a legend around him. yeah okay so we we've got the we've definitely got the rambo there uh and little john wiki too but um what about some of the spaghetti western inspirations here because you've got those title cards and the score is often very inyo morricone-esque yeah, it's it's uh, it's a big thing for me, and and uh, I realized it when I was writing that there's no point of like escaping it. But when you have a guy with a horse riding in a open landscape, like like in Sisu, you you basically can't even avoid it, like being some kind of a western mood while seeing that. So. Uh, but I think it was like really there's a lot of inspiration coming from the old Sergio Leone kind of westerns of like this huge landscape and really open pictures of uh, where people look small and they are alone in this uh, huge place and and uh, I like stories of of people having to be like forced to deal with their problems by themselves that they can't get help anywhere or, or call the police or, or stuff like that. Yeah, well, one thing I thought was interesting about this character is that I was intrigued by the decision to make him, he, he's, ostensibly, he's ostensibly immortal, but he repeatedly gets injured and beaten down and wounded a lot you give him a lot of vulnerability. Tell me a little bit about creating the this this character who seemingly can't die, but who who often gets his ass kicked a lot still and suffers. Yeah, it, it's important to show so that he can be hurt, and and uh, and I I really want to fight against him being immortal. Like we say in the film, he just refuses to die because he has something to do before he can die. Like uh, that's the whole idea of the film. Uh, I don't know. I probably went pretty far with not dying yeah. <laughs> in this film, but but in my heart, I know that this guy could die if he allows him to die <laughs> i don't know how i think you get shot in the head and strangled <laughs> and you know plane crash but i i believe you when you say he can die <laughs> well speaking of all those methods of death um a lot of this movie is him just killing people over and over again how did you keep coming up with 
notable and interesting ways to kill people to make sure it didn't get repetitive. I, I assume that was actually a pretty difficult creative process to make the kills consistently new and exciting. It definitely was. Uh, and I, but I knew that I have to do it because I, I needed to be inventive in a way to stand out from uh, like uh, other action films to that I needed to have something different than no one else has. So I'm pretty sure when an audience will see this film that they will have any kind of fucking clue what this guy is up <laughs> to like next. Because uh, that that was the challenge to to have those ideas. At the same time, I was thinking like, and I was writing, and how cool is it to have a job that that my main problem solving every day was like trying to find out inventive ways of killing Nazis. <laughs> so that's yeah. a weird job to have. <laughs> Well, okay, so that's your main problem solving most days, but uh, this looked like it was probably a pretty difficult shoot, you know, it looked very cold, you're out in the the wilderness, you're doing a lot of stunts. Tell me about uh, the practical side of this shoot, you know, having to shoot in the elements and water and snow and the cold and doing a lot of these pretty dangerous looking stunts in camera. Well, that that was a struggle itself, being there in the middle of nowhere of shooting this and uh, to be able to even get all the crew and gear and everything there. Uh, but I think it, it, it really was worth it to having that kind of landscape and, and being there together to make this film. Uh, I really had like amazing time throughout the whole process. Of course, it was hard like the wind and everything uh, made things some days almost impossible. But at the same time, it gave me some kind of weird string, strength and, and kept me alive in a way that uh, I, uh, I wouldn't get lazy. There was no time to be lazy <laughs> in a way. But you have to struggle every day to, to be able to do this. And adding that to that, all the stunts and 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 that and it, it it was a wild ride, definitely. It's ironic you say that it kept you alive, basically, given the film you're making. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm sure production audio was a nightmare with all that wind, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not even a frame with real sound on that film. <laughs> oh yeah, that that doesn't shock me. That's. Seems like a pretty intense shoot. Uh, okay, well, we're about out of time here. Before I go, um, two questions. One, any idea what we can expect next from you? Have you decided what your next film you'd like to do would be? I have a couple of op options now. Of, uh, uh, I have written this sci-fi film before, Sisu. Uh, we might, might start shootings on that this year. Uh, if not, I'm writing another one, uh, like a really badass action film. And there's also some offers from Hollywood and uh, I don't know yet. Okay. But and second question, um, let's say that John Wick accidentally pissed off the main character in this and they <laughs> face off. Who wins? I don't know. I know because it's easy. Oh, you Adam. know your guy? Yeah, Adam won't die. <laughs> so it's going to be a really long fight and uh, and a lot of really weird shit going on. But eventually, John Wick has to review. Like, he probably gets too tired of trying to kill him that he, like, uh, dies from exhaustion or something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's that's a good answer. Well, thank you so much. This was a blast to watch, and I'm looking forward to everyone else getting to see it. Thank you. Absolutely.